a royal stamp of approval. The UAE's Vice President and Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum launched this year's Global Space Congress in Abu Dhabi as the country looks to take a greater interest in space. It's set to become the first Arab and the first Muslim nation to launch a mission to Mars. The Mars mission is uh, planned to be launched in 2020, uh, arriving uh, Mars in 2021. And this will be the 50th anniversary of UAE. Uh, the program is on track and on time, and uh, we are very excited to uh, see uh, it's orbiting Mars. The UAE says it's already invested $5.5 billion in its bid to reach the Red Planet. Once it lands, the unmanned Hope spacecraft will collect data, which officials say they want to share. The mission to Mars is scientific, so the data will be shared with the international space community. Uh, the benefits will be for not UAE, but for humanity, understanding Mars and expanding our knowledge about the Red Planet. Although it's still in its early stages, the space race is heating up here in the Arab world. But it's not just governments that are eager to explore new frontiers. Corporations, too, are increasingly looking at space technologies, and in particular, how they may change the way we travel in the future. There is a growing market for civilian space travel, a future where ordinary people can hop on board rockets. Virgin Galactic, which is pioneering the first commercial space line, says it's currently studying plans to allow people to fly between two different cities in space. This is a long-term process, right? When the first people crossed the Atlantic via plane, it cost about $100,000 in real terms. So, and now you can go across the Atlantic for you know, 500 bucks or $1,000. So this is going to be a long-term process. Um, but I think that what's exciting is that we're actually starting that process very soon. And I think the benefits for that will accrue to people around the world. The idea of checking in at spaceports rather than airports may still be a while off, but Virgin Galactic says it could unveil a test flight within the next decade. That could make the dream of becoming an astronaut a more realistic possibility for many in the future. Noe Jabarkil, CGTN, Abu Dhabi.